Sup Shredders, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to an SP Reviews where today we're going to be checking out a track from an act named NIFF titled Crazy and if we switch over to here, I think this is a part of the track if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it's the whole thing, I think this is because they're working on a lot of music at the moment, they're working on some new tunes and I think they're just trying to get a feel for what people do and do like or rather do and don't like. So we're going to listen through this uh, track from start to finish and we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. What's up? This is NIFF. We are AML Studios. This next song, Crazy, is just about people changing when you grow up. It's crazy when you up, niggas acting like hoes. Yeah. When I was down, you couldn't answer your phone. Answer when phone. you really got to work, it's really hard to, relax. hard to relax. I can never ask for help. That's part of my facts. Yeah. All these niggas selling out, then the fact that I didn't. A blind man can see all the love I ain't getting. If it wasn't for my hustle, push the wheel for the win. You would never know my struggle that I have from a fear. From a fear. I mean, like we're tied with our wordplay. I know it's so short that I almost feel guilty pointing it out, but I also feel like if I just sat there and I watched through the whole thing in one take, you know, it would be given justice to the fact that every single line, every set of two, loops back into itself effortlessly. I'm really happy with the story being told. In the fence, it was all for a favor. Not happy for him, but. The words when I saw you on paper. You mean to fucking tell me that my son got a hurt? 15 minutes on the phone trying to make this work. You really think I give a fuck about being a part? About your phony ass yeah, circles where you know you a mark. You can never do the same. You niggas are strange. Trials and tribulation motivated by pain. Yeah. It's crazy when you want niggas head to my holes. I think that's the beauty of this day and age is that because I think this is NIFF, MIFF, should I say? Because NIFF is on TikTok. You can see the little thing down here. Um, that we're trying to get people interested in our track in the space of a minute. We provide enough of a preview to sort of engage and sort of see what's up. And I, I think that this gives us the uh, the crux of the track whilst also being enough incentive to check out more. And welcome to the conclusion of my review of this track titled Crazy by NIFF. Now, what do I think this track is about? Whereas per what NIFF told us in the intro, it's about uh, someone who is seeing the people around them change and all the crazy transformations people go through and stuff like that over their life and the struggles with those interactions. It was also talking about his son and, and the struggle that they go through and everything like that how those people weren't there for him when he was down, etc. And it just seems like there's a general sort of just unhappiness with the state of things within the relationships. I think it's something that a lot of people will be able to relate to listening to this, the idea of the people you knew changing over time, not being who you thought they were, etc. Whether that's a long amount of time or a short amount of time, it nonetheless just sucks. So I think people will be able to commiserate here. It's emotionally affecting. The performance from NIFF is grounded here. I'm really stoked with the, you know, how comfortable we are, not just with the intro. It was kind of nice getting told what it was about in advance. So to get their heads up and be able to sort of like join the dots. But at the same time, I think there was enough nuance where like that introduction we got didn't sort of, sort of like sell out the rest of it. We were comfortable with the flow, interesting rhythms to it. We uh, amalgamated and harmonized neatly with the rest of the elements within the arrangement. We sounded like we were affected by what we were discussing. It seemed like an authentic performance and it was very, um, yeah, it was polished. It seemed commercial grade. In regards to the backing and the track in general, I mean, again, we don't have the full track here, so I can't really comment on how it's structured. I assume there's going to be verses and choruses here. This might actually be the whole song, I'm not sure, but um, e either way, you know, like even at a short form piece, it gives us enough context to really sort of hear what NIFF is about. And I think that the combination of the kit, you know, the drum kit, the bass is there, the uh, modulated keys or the effects laden keys there, with, the, with a lot of the attack came, taken off the beginning of it, they're very smooth sounding and kind of flowing in the ether with some sort of like a ladies vocal chops and synth additions to it. It's nicely fleshed out in the frequency spectrum as well as the stereo field. There's a nice bounciness and punch to the kit, not just from the post-production, but also from the fact that while there is space in the arrangement for the vocals, it's vacant enough with the flexibility of the 8th and 16th note grooves with the cymbal parts that like, it's, it's catchy, but it it's also allows you to just kind of simmer with it. The bass following along with the root notes of the chord progression, nice and round and full, you know, connecting well with the mid-range resonance of those, uh, those modulated keys. Any sort of vocal chops or runs on top there, those layers, as well as some sort of higher synths there, a little bit of sheen and glimmer in the higher parts and stacking well. There's a bit of nuance to how things are sort of 
formed and sort of dispersed throughout. It's not entirely predictable the entire time. Things do come and go occasionally, which is awesome for that shorter form factor. But we do have a rather easy to follow, and I mean that in a positive way, a rather easy to follow chord progression here, which is uh, very somber. And I think that mood there with the use of those minor chords, uh, with, without the extensions that can sometimes mask the direness of the situation, it really just sound like NIFF is disappointed in what's going on, that he is feeling hurt and struggling to deal with how inconsistent and how people are behaving. So I think that in that regard, the way we've structured and written the track, the production, the sound of it behind the vocals and the story being told makes a lot of sense and is well connected. The studio recording, mixing and mastering is tight. Again, I would want to hear how the whole track sounded to get more of a sort of like an idea of, uh, you know, how the dynamic range, etc. But from a mix and mastering perspective at this point in time, the vocals are nice and present. Again, it sounds commercial grade, great sort of like polish and sheen to everything without being too overwhelming. Nice stacking of things in the frequency spectrum, as well as in the stereo field, the music does surround you in the cans. You know, it's nice and loud without pumping. And all in all, this is just a really great first impression in NIWF's work. So thank you very much for watching uh, my review of this track from NIWF titled uh, Crazy. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please go show them some love via their social medias and I assume their website and TikTok page and stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. It's either help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world and I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands up.